Now lately, I've been seeing a lot of knife edge destruction testing like this. Would you look at that edge damage? I can't believe that edge got damaged chopping through that nail. What a crap steel and heat treatment. Where you take something that a knife isn't designed to cut, like a nail, and hammer the knife edge through the nail until the nail is cut in half. Now this test is implied to show you just how good the knife steel is and or the heat treatment is on the knife. And if the knife fails this test, then the knife steel and or heat treatment, or both, is no good. And to tell you the truth, this actually couldn't be farther from the truth. How well a knife chops through a nail really doesn't have a whole lot to do with the knife steel and or heat treatment. What this actually has to do with is something called geometry. Let me show you. So the first test we're gonna do here is with an A2 tool steel test blade I made several years ago. It is sitting right at around 64 HRC and I'm putting a 20 degree per side bevel angle on the knife using the KME. I then hammer this edge through the nail and what do you know? We have some pretty serious edge damage. What a crap steel and heat treatment. Now you may be saying, I've seen other knives do this test with zero problems. Surely those knives are some sort of super crazy steel with some super secret crazy heat treatment. Well, not exactly. Let's see what happens when we increase our sharpening angle from 20 degrees per side to 25 degrees per side. 25 degrees. Look at that. Almost no damage whatsoever. And what do you know, the secondary bevel survived simply by adding five degrees to the cutting edge. Let's try 28 degrees. And again, we have very minimal, if any, damage. You could probably almost drop this out. And yet again, at 30 degrees. So that right there is where we just did it. That's our old one. Very minimal edge damage. So now let's take the secondary bevel back to our 20 degrees and see what happens. <laughs> that couldn't be more perfect. 20 degrees, failure. So I know what you're all saying. We can get a knife with a known good heat treatment to do this, but what if we do the opposite? What if we take a knife with a known bad heat treatment? Can we also manipulate the results by manipulating the geometry? Enter our badly heat treated knife. This is 1084 steel that was way overheated for a significant amount of time during austenizing. It soaked at 1800 degrees for precisely 40 minutes before quenching. Now I did a video on this knife and I'll link it below comparing good versus bad heat treatments on knives. Definitely go check out that video. But let's do the same thing here. We'll put a 20 degree secondary bevel on the knife and hammer it through a nail. And looks like we've got some damage. <laughs> kind of looks like we have the same amount of damage that we had before on the last knife. And at a 20 degree bevel angle, we had a major failure. So let's raise the angle on this badly heat treated knife to 30 degrees and see what happens. Check that out. There's like zero edge damage. This is like one of the worst heat treatments that you can possibly get on a knife. 1084, soaked at 1800 plus degrees for 40 minutes. And uh, you can chop it through a nail with the correct geometry. So I hope this video shows you just how important geometry is. Now look, I don't have anything against knife destruction testing. The edge destruction test, chopping it through a nail or pushing the knife through a piece of mild steel, something like that, uh, that I don't have anything against that. By all means, go ahead and do knife destruction testing if you want to, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. But what I do wanna make sure is that when you're watching these types of tests, you realize what it is that those tests are actually showing, and that is the geometry on the knife. It really doesn't have a whole lot to do with the knife steel being tested or the heat treatment. It's no magical heat treatment that is making a knife capable of chopping through nails or mild steel. It has to do with the geometry that's on the knife. Because in this case, simply adding five degrees to both a good heat treated knife and a badly heat treated knife is the difference between either ruining the knife 
or a knife that completely survives. So just keep this in mind when you're watching these types of tests and realize that what they're testing at doing these types of tests is actually the geometry on the knife. And the geometry is actually something that you can change a lot of cases at home, either in a fixed angle system or by freehand or whatever your sharpening, preferred sharpening method is. A lot of these geometry issues can be fixed by you. Has nothing to do with the knife maker in and of themselves depending on where the failure is. But again, the more steel that you have along the edge as you're doing something, the stronger that edge is gonna be. Anyway, hope this video helps and makes sense of some of these knife edge destruction tests. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.